As time passes, I am using less and less guitar pedals. On the other hand, I always get excited to find something that can make cool noises. It has become increasingly difficult for me to find new types of pedals that will excite me enough to put on my pedal board, and there are almost none that will stay there after some time. And after finding the four that make the sounds that I like, which is a fast face, a univibe, a wah, and some type of delay, I thought all I would do was try different versions of these pedals until I end up with the ones I like the most. But there was one type of effect that I had never really tried which seemed really intriguing, and that was the old analog octave up pedals like uh, the Octavia, the COB, etc. To be clear, I used to own a clone of a Foxtone machine, that sounds nice by the way, as well as some digital octave pedals, but eventually none of these were really useful for me except for some very specific cases. So I started researching all the different types of octave pedals that exist, and the one that stood out was the COB or Clean Octave Blend by Prescription Electronics. I liked its concept more than the Octavia for example because of the blend knob as well as the boost sounds depending on the settings. The thing is, I didn't want to spend lots of money on something that I didn't even know if I would keep, so I decided to go the DIY route with quite a bit of help from side effects. Also, fun fact, do you know what makes building a pedal like this much easier? Hitting that subscribe button. Now, the way the knobs interact with each other is kind of weird actually. Some sounds I wouldn't call usable, but you can still use them to make uh, weird noises. But when you find the sweet spot, uh, something really special happens, something at least that I really like. It combines two sounds uh, that to my ears work very well together. The one is of course the octave up effect when you are playing around the 12th fret on your neck pickup mostly. And the other one is some weird glitch stuff that is happening when you are playing on the lower strings, especially on some specific chords. A nice bonus is that you can use it also as a boost if you turn down the octave and blend knobs. A small tip, although it's kind of a personal preference, if you are planning on building this pedal, do not use this foot switch. It was a pain in the ass when building the pedal, I also broke one and I really hate how it looks on the pedal. But it was the only one that I had laying around here, so... After using it for about 4 months now, all I can say is that I have finally found a new pedal that inspires me and, especially when used with a delay, really helps me make uh, new noises that I will actually use. My build has some ways to go in terms of matching the transistors and all that stuff to get it exactly to the point that I want, but when combined with the other pedals that I already use, the amount of sounds I can get out of these three knobs really excites me. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Dalam and I'll see you in the next one.